Your liver is the largest organ inside your body, and when you're healthy, it performs over 500 tasks, including aiding the digestion of food, making blood clotting factors, storing energy, and the removal of toxins from the blood. However, if your liver becomes damaged, these functions can be impaired or lost, which is described as liver disease. This encompasses a wide range of conditions, diseases, and infections. Liver disease can be a fatal illness, and unfortunately, it's the only major cause of death that is increasing year on year. In fact, liver disease is dramatically increasing in prevalence here in the UK, with a 40% rise in the last 12 years. This is highly concerning, particularly as over 90% of the people who die from liver disease are under 70 years of age, with 1 in 10 deaths of people in their 40s being from liver disease. There are many causes of liver disease, such as alcohol, an unhealthy diet, viruses, or autoimmune disorders. However, they mostly follow a similar progression. The initial insult to the healthy liver causes the activation of the immune system, whereby immune cells are sent to the site of injury in a process known as inflammation. This is normally a good thing, as the immune cells help to repair the injured site and regenerate the liver to its healthy state again. However, if the damage occurs over a long period of time, this leads to chronic inflammation. This causes changes to the liver cells, leading to an altered liver environment in which the immune cells do more harm than good. This leads to tissue scarring, known as liver fibrosis, which can then progress to liver cirrhosis. This may then result in liver failure or cancer development. Currently, often the only cure for liver disease is transplantation from a donor, and with growing transplant waiting lists, there is increasing need for new therapies. One promising area of research is the mechanism of how immune cells travel into the liver from the circulating blood. This process is known as the adhesion cascade and can be divided into several discrete steps. First, the immune cells are captured from the blood flow and begin to roll along the vessel wall. They then arrest and finally transmigrate through the wall into the liver. One molecule that's important for this process is a protein called vascular adhesion protein 1, or VAP1. VAP1 is found on the surface of the cells that line the blood vessels of the liver. Here, VAP1 can help immune cells to travel into the liver and get to sites of damage. Under normal conditions, this is a good thing and can help in repair. However, if the liver is diseased and chronically inflamed, immune cell entry becomes dangerous and something we would like to prevent, such as in autoimmune disorders. In fact, there's a current phase 2 clinical trial running in Birmingham to see if blocking VAP1 in the liver will slow down the progression of one such disease, called primary sclerosing cholangitis. And although there is a very long journey ahead, with positive steps like this, the future for the fight against liver disease looks very hopeful.